in the previous lecture, we established the connection between the Bluetooth module and my computer, and we were able to use it to wirelessly turn on and off an LED. In this lecture, I've added a simple analog sensor, just a photoresistor here with a 10 kilo ohm resistor. And I am taking the signal from the junction between the resistor and the photoresistor, and that goes to analog pin zero from where we'll be taking values. I haven't uploaded the sketch yet. The sketch that we'll be uploading is this one here. I've got information on how to do all the connections in here and all the parts you need, etc. But I just want to show you that the only change between the previous sketch and this sketch is that now we've got a sensor that is connected to analog pin zero. I've got a little bit of code that keeps it passage of time uh, because I want the Arduino to send an update to the serial monitor every one second. So that's every 1000 milliseconds. Still, this is just using the serial class, nothing fancy here, specifically dedicated to working with Bluetooth modules. It's all just serial devices as far as the Arduino is concerned. So inside the loop, we've got a bit of code that reads the value from the serial interface and then again turns the LED on and off depending on what that value is. If it's H, it will turn the LED on. And then it will down here, the last block is what I've added uh, in this sketch is to take a reading out of the analog pin and then every 1000 milliseconds or every second to send that value through to the serial monitor using whatever connection might be available, wired, serial or Bluetooth serial. So I need to upload this sketch to the Arduino first. And just like before to do that, we need to release the UART channel. We need to unplug, in other words, the Bluetooth device. I'm going to remove the battery as well and plug the USB cable back in just to upload the sketch. So check on the port. Make sure that's correct. It hasn't shown up yet. Give it a few more seconds. And there you are. This is the port that I want for my USB interface. And upload this sketch. Great. Bring up the serial monitor. We've got a few readings here. So 99, 330. Okay, that works and turn the LED on and off. Great. All right, so just like before, we'll unplug the USB cable, plug in power from the battery and connect the USB module. Let's try the next row. Okay, there you go. So back into discovery mode for the Bluetooth module and let's bring up my Bluetooth preferences. There's the HC06. It won't connect automatically, so I'm going to have to forget it and go through the process of connection again. So obviously this process is slightly different on other operating systems. But again, I repeat that it's the same process to can that you follow to connect with any other Bluetooth device. Right, so that's one, two, three, four. And connect it. Great. I'll just go back to my Arduino IDE and select a new port, HC06, and bring up the serial monitor again. Great, so we've got information being sent over. The photoresistor is sending us data. Let's try to turn on the LED as well. There you go, the LED is on, the LED is off. So again, that is happening wirelessly. So you can imagine now how you can use a method like this 
to provide, let's say, basic telemetry for your project. So if you've got a project and you'd like it to be able to send you data untethered to your computer, then using a Bluetooth module is just a drop-in replacement for your USB connection. And this is a method that I used in one of my other courses in the Arduino robot course where I had a small Arduino wheeled robot and I wanted to be able to get telemetry from its sensors to see what the robot is doing as it's operating and then having a USB cable tethered to it because the robot is mobile was a bit awkward and it made testing quite hard. So all I had to do was to just plug in the Bluetooth uh, module directly onto the header of the Arduino and I had a drop-in replacement serial connection that allowed me to do this type of telemetry. It was pretty easy to do. Great, so now you know how to send and receive text from your Arduino using the Bluetooth module. In the next lecture, I'd like to show you one more thing, and that is how to be able to use both the Bluetooth module and the USB interface at the same time without having to unplug the USB in order to upload a new sketch to the Arduino. So let's go ahead and look at that next. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more, check out my Arduino step-by-step -step getting started and Arduino step-by-step -step getting serious courses on the Tech Explorations School. There, I help you develop basic and more advanced Arduino skills, including how to write your own programs, how to use all sorts of sensors and actuators, and how to create your own gadgets. You may also be interested in my project courses where you get deep into the development of wheeled robots, remote controlled cars and drones. Please use the coupon code in the description below this video to get a YouTube exclusive discount to my courses. See you there.